everybody. Happy October. This is Chad with round two. We're doing another product spotlight. So this is everything that we've got coming in the month of October uh, 2022. There's a lot of stuff again this month. Uh, we're having 164th. We're going to show two series for Auto World, some new deluxe uh, Target exclusives, and a new premium release. We've got four different series for Johnny Lightning 164th that we're going to show. Uh, we have 118, four cars to show in 118 scale for Auto World. Model kits, there's nine model kits that we'll go through. And then in slot cars, we've got a new slot car set and two new uh, slot car releases. So we're going to jump right into it. We're going to start with the 164th. So jumping into all this 164th, we're going to start with the Auto World stuff. We've got Auto World Premium Release coming up. So this is um, six cars in this, two variations of each. First car in it being the, our 1965 Ford GT40. This is the Mark I version. So this one has different wheels than we put it out with before. This was the, the road going version of the GT40. Uh, first variation here is in silver. And again, really understated, of course, being the street going version. Second version is in this blue color, custom blue with the uh, Ford striping on the bottom there. Second in the premium release, our 1964 Pontiac Grand Prix Royal Bobcat. First version here in red. Great looking uh, coloring on that one. And then the second is in saddle bronze. Tan interior with this car. White line tires. Another great looking release. Third, this is uh, the next release for the, our Jeep, the 2017 Jeep JK Wrangler Chief Edition. So uh, first is in acid yellow with a white top. What's really cool about this release, we did tool the uh, power dome hood. That's new tooling. And those five spoke wheels are new tooling. So you haven't seen those released uh, yet in Auto World. We have another hood um, that will be coming out shortly to uh, do further variations of this tool. So it's been very popular. Fourth in the release, the 1975 Cadillac Coupe DeVille. First one here is in green. It looks awesome. It has green interior, green exterior, and the, uh, the vinyl half top um, is green as well, but they're all different shades. Looks really, really cool. Of course, that big body, true 164 scale, uh, long casting for this one. And the second variation here, Firestone. And next up, the 2019 Dodge Challenger RT Scat Pack. So first version here in red. Got the RT striping on the back, black wheels, black interior. and Sublime for version B. Again, with that RT striping and the black wheels on that. And lastly, the 2012 Ford Mustang GT California Specials. So first one here, version A is in grabber blue. Chrome wheels on that, black striping along the side, a lot of painted details for the taillights and everything, black roof and the second variation here in yellow. So that's everything for the premium releases. Also, um, we've been doing the return of the Auto World Deluxe line. If you guys remember the Deluxe line, they're uh, non-opening hoods. They have uh, hard tires and plastic chassis, but they're a little more of a uh, cost-effective line, and we've been doing these exclusively with Target. So there's three cars in this one. This is the version A. We'll have the version B uh, later on. But these two packs here um, are how they're returning. First one being Poncho Power, two Pontiacs, and this one, 1966. Pontiac GTO on top there in gold. The black vinyl top, red line tires. A lot of great detail on these castings. Still a ton of painted detail on them. Uh, 94 Pontiac Firebird TA in white with white wheels and white interior. Really, really cool 90s uh, Trans Am for that one. Second uh, for the two packs, we have the GM Classics, the 1966 Chevy El Camino there on the top in silver chrome wheels, red interior, has red striping. That red interior really makes it, uh, really makes that pop. And then second is white and red in that 67 Buick GS 400. Uh, red wheels on that, red striping. You got red for the hood scoops. Again, great looking details on these, and these are uh, going to be Target Store exclusives. And next is uh, the F-bodies. So uh, two Camaros in this one. 
Top one is the 2012 Chevy Camaro ZL1. Black, um, got that convertible top on it, silver wheels, um, silver striping on the hood. And the ever popular R82 Chevy Camaro Z28, casting that third gen uh, in silver with blue and blue interior. So a great looking release for that one. So that's everything for Auto World 164th. We have a ton for Johnny Lightning too. We're gonna start off with our military line. So um, this is a super cool release for the Johnny Lightning military line. This one is Pacific Theater Warriors. There's uh, six vehicles in this, uh, two variations of each, version A and version B. First one being the World War II M3 Lee tank. Version A here is the right on Macon Islands Red Beach version course uh, army green painted details on that and the second one is right on Macon islands the yellow beach version so some different details on that one it's got different numbering on the side of it and we try to make these all as authentic as possible for these military releases next up we've got a uh, plane in this one the f4u 1a corsair uh, first version here is the mad cossack combat air patrol uh, okinawa and you can see a, it's a dark blue, has all the graphics on that. And then for the stand, we've actually included the, uh, the squadron logos and the information on this particular plane, what battle it flew in, and some of the cool details about it. For the version B, we did the same thing here. Battle of Okinawa plane here. This is the checkerboards uh, squadron for this one. Again, you can see that checkerboard on the front end, a little different details than that version A, and that squadron shown... Uh, on the stand there so really really neat uh, for that release next up the world war ii gmc cckw two and a half ton six by six truck version a here battle of guadalcanal there it is an army green of course uh green wheels and all the extra details on that and the second one is the liberation of philippines so this is kind of a dirty version used version has the uh the brown dirt thrown up on the side of it, of course the, uh, the stars on the side, and a little different details from that version A. Next up, we got another plane for you guys. So this one is North American Aviation P-51 Mustang. First version, flying out of Iwo Jima Stinger 7. So again, we base these on real planes. We show the, uh, we show the squadrons on the, on the stand there. So you can get some information about the plane and of course the battle facts and the facts that we include on our packaging gives you a little more information uh, version b is anything goes for the squadron on this plane again a little different with the painted details made to match their plane and these are just super cool to collect uh fifth in this release for these pacific theater warriors the half track world war ii m16 half track first one being battle okinawa forward reconnaissance version uh has the dirt thrown up on it the big big guns on the back there and all that uh all that painted detail second is battle of okinawa defending an air airfield and again uh, a little different details on that we went with a different gun on this version for that half track and then lastly uh, two variations for the World War II uh, military Willis Jeep. First one here, Return to Philippines, 1944. You can see it there in Army Green. And again, this is more of the, more of the clean version for this one. And the second one, Aftermath of Operation Meeting House, Tokyo. This one's a little more, uh, little more dirty, a little more war-torn or used uh, for that Willis Jeep. So that's everything for the Johnny Lightning military release. Now we're going to jump into all the Johnny Lightning vehicles. Like I said, ton of stuff this month. We're going to jump into pop culture for this one. So our pop culture releases, there's uh, only ever one version for pop culture, but six cars in each. And this is where we do a lot of our licensed, uh, uh, licensed stuff. So Trivial Pursuit starting off. Uh, the Munsters Dragula. So in the Trivial Pursuit cars, we've always they always come with a little token here. Uh, they always come with the card, uh, a Trivial Pursuit card that you can open up and add to your Trivial Pursuit game. It usually has information or questions about the car. Um, but our Dragula release, of course, with all these great details on it, has the Trivial Pursuit on the uh, tires there. 
uh, gold, got the purple seed inside of it. Again, matching that, that look of that famous monster's Dragula. Second, uh, sticking with our licensing here, Hasbro licensing, this is our next Clue car, the 1951 Hudson Hornet. Again, all done up with the Clue graphics here. This is Mrs. Peacock's car. So done up in blue. Uh, a ton of the old, uh, this is the vintage style Clue that we used for this, so a lot of those old Clue logos and characters all along the side of it. Third for pop culture, utilizing our Rat Fink license, we uh, did show a sneak of this one uh, a couple months ago on our social media pages, and it got a lot of uh, a lot of great feedback. This is the King Fink version, so we got Rat Fink with the crown on there, uh, utilizing like our, our Zinger chassis to give it that crazy Rat Fink look here. Um, this is the 1970 Dodge Super V, and you can see that that crazy paint from red to. Uh, Red to green with the yellow stripes on the back. Of course, Rat Fink on the top. All the crazy Rat Fink decals. Multicolored wheels. Big blown engine. This should be a really uh, a really fun one to pick up. Next up, our Monopoly license. This is our 1976 Dodge van. This is the uh, Pennybags Casino van. So all done up like a uh, like the vans that you see coming in uh, coming in and pulling into the casino, working at the casino. Uh, a lot of fun stuff on the side. You got. Uh, penny bags with the slot machine jumping out of money and then with all of our monopoly releases we always include an exclusive game token to be used on your monopoly board again this one matching that 76 dodge van here next up in the release for our james bond license we got our uh ford mustang 1965 ford mustang from thunderball the sean connery uh bond film here it is in teal blue with a white top on it and made to match the uh, the Mustang, of course, from the film. And as always, we, we got the uh, film logo on here. You got your facts on the side, shaken, not stirred. Uh, another fun release for our Bond series. And lastly, we got one more clue car uh, with the game cars. This is the 1980 Toyota Land Cruiser, a really popular uh, Johnny Lightning casting here. This is Professor Plum's car, so of course it's in that uh, in the plum-colored uh, purple has uh, Professor Plum on the top of it and uh, a lot of really great details painted on this version. So that's everything for the um, pop cultures. Now we also have our collector tins. We're going to show you a release of that, version A and version B for these collector tins. There are three cars um, in this one with two variations of each. First being the 1989 Chevy Camaro Z28 IROC Z. Version A is here in red. Silver detailing on that, black detailing on the hood, black interior, and again, we always do uh, highly detailed uh, for the taillights, headlights, in, uh, in all of our releases. So, uh, second version is in black for that IROC Z, another great version for this casting. And again, with all those painted details, black interior with this one and some blue striping along the side of it. Next up, the 1955 Chevy 210. Version A is super cool in pale yellow here with a green interior. This is actual OEM coloring with that crazy colored interior. We did do uh, one like this in a 118 scale that sold really well. It's a super just rare, rare looking uh, color combination or, or cool color combination for these uh, Tri-5 Chevys. And then the version B, an alpine green, black interior on that. and two great looking versions for uh, for collector tins. And then lastly, the 1967 Pontiac GTO. First one here is in gold. Red line tires on this one, got color matched wheels, uh, black vinyl top, and again, just tons and tons of painted detailing. And then the second is in red. Uh, has white letter tires on this one. Again, the black vinyl top, all the detailing, and there is uh, striping along the side of that too. That looks great. And then lastly, one more for Johnny Lightning. Uh, we've got our release for silver screen dioramas. So these are more for James Bond cars. Uh, these come with a tin diorama that they, the uh, stand that they sit on. First version here is our 1967 Toyota 2000 GT. So you guys that are familiar with this casting, this is from the Bond uh, You Only Live Twice film. The only time there's ever been a Toyota 2000 GT convertible. Uh, of course, famously, the roof was cut off to fit Sean Connery in the, uh, in the small Japanese car that Toyota wanted to utilize for the movie. So we did this diorama version of it. 
Uh, a lot of great painted detailing on this one and just a super famous uh, Bond car, one-off Bond car. Next up is the next release for the Aston Martin DB5. Now this is the GoldenEye version. So all of you uh, from the 90s, especially me, who grew up with the N64 GoldenEye, you guys will remember uh, this version of the quintessential Bond Aston Martin. So uh, done up to match uh, how Pierce Brosnan drove it in the GoldenEye movie. Here it is, of course, in silver. It has the matching uh, license plates on the front, uh, chrome wheels, and a lot of uh, really cool painted detail with that gold knight and diorama. So it should display really well. That's everything for 164th. Like I said, a ton of stuff. Next, we're going to jump in. We're going to show you guys model kits. So jumping right into model kits, we've got nine kits to show you guys uh, from AMT and MPC, a lot of car kits, and then a Star Trek kit that we're also going to uh, show off. Starting with uh, our Hot Wheels kits, we've got quite a few coming this month. So um, first being a snap kit, great great uh, first time builder kit, this 1997 Dodge Viper GTS. Some of the really cool features with this kit, um, as I mentioned, it's snap, so it's a good kit that's easy to go together. And to make it easier, uh, it is molded in metallic blue. It comes with orange chrome wheels with it uh, for that Hot Wheels look. It has uh, stickers as well as decals with this uh, kit. And it builds up into really a great looking car. You can see here, uh, also with the metallic blue, there's uh, some black and silver parts as well. So you wouldn't necessarily have to paint this kit to have it look great and build up easily. You can see, uh, look there at the decal sheets. And of course, that built up model on the side, you can see really just how great this uh, easy snap together Dodge Viper looks. And there's a look at that parts tree on the back. Again, really, really simple build. A great one to just pick up if your kid or your grandkid is just getting into modeling or if you just want something to build up quickly and get out of a slump. Keeping with the Hot Wheel Snap Kits, we also have this great 1996 Mustang GT, so another awesome 90s car with this SN95 Mustang. Uh, similar, this is molded in color, uh, metallic red for this one, or kind of a burgundy red for it. Uh, also comes with stickers or decals so you can build it either way you want or make it a little easier um, you can see a look at the side here final tires on this kit uh, with the chrome wheels these are just regular chrome and not the orange chrome like the uh, viper has and then uh, for the decal set you can see a couple variations there if you want to just do hot wheels logos there's some uh, some mustang logos in there and then there's the hot wheels one with the flames and the stripes like you see on the box art and then a look at that parts tree. Again, another easy, uh, quick build snap kit. Moving on just a little more difficult. We got one more Hot Wheels kit to show you guys, the 1932 Ford Phantom Vicky. So this is more of a level two kit, um, <clears throat> a glue kit, glue and paint kit. So this one is molded in white. Does still come with stickers or decals. So if you step up, but you want to still use stickers, then that's, that's perfect for this. Custom chrome rims, removable tops on this 32 Ford. Uh, and you can see on the side, there's that built up one painted in, a, uh, in an awesome green color. There's Mustang suspension on this because it is a, uh, a custom 32 Ford, so it comes with that Mustang suspension. Actually comes with a Cobra 4.6 liter dual overhead cam engine. Again, the custom wheels with a removable top. And a look at the decals that come with this 32 Vicky. And again, you can build any of these up any way you want, but they are super fun with those Hot Wheels, uh, Hot Wheels decals on there and that great looking box art. And there's a look at that parts tree on the back of that kit. Jumping into the other automotive kits, here's one that I'm personally very excited about. This is the return of the MPC uh, 1983 Toyota Supra kit. So this one uh, is not wrapped in plastic. This is actually a pre-production sample from the factory. Uh, this is tooling that we actually had over here in South Bend. We sent the tooling over to Chicago, so this kit is being manufactured in Chicago. Um, so it will be coming out soon. We were just able to show that uh, pre-production sample and uh, expect it to come out shortly. But some of the really cool stuff about this kit, there's a lot of awesome options with this, uh, with this Super kit. So you can see here, there's actually, you can build it stock as a stock Toyota Supra there, uh, molded in white, but there are a ton of cool options. There's 
actually a wide body kit that is uh, custom body panels that are separate. So if you want to make like an IMSA style wide body kit, you can do that with it. There's two sets of wheels, so you can put um, the stock wheels or the four, these four spoke uh, wider wheels on it. It comes with window louvers, air dam, spoiler. It's got an engine which you can build uh, optional with a turbocharger or not. Um, detailed interior and chassis on this one. And there's a look, um, the model shown here on the actual size. Again, again, comes with these really cool kind of period correct 80s decals. And this should be a really fun build. There's a look at that part. It should be really fun build to see what you guys do with, uh, with all those different options and probably build a really cool uh, JDM 80s Supra. So really excited about that one coming out. Next up, we also have the return of the 68 AMT Plymouth Roadrunner. Uh, 125th scale of course this is a customizing kit so it can be built in one of two ways stock or custom there's um, a few cool options with this kit the box art this this new box art looks great on this kit um, and a couple of things there's a set of tires here but there's two options on the tire so you can flip them between stock with the red lines or uh, custom white letter tires on there to build it up in two different ways utilizing those and then um, there's some of the stock and custom options. So you can see that there's two different wheels that can be utilized with those tires. Uh, and then some of those other details for the interior, grill, etc. And there's a look at the parts tree for that uh, 68 Roadrunner. Next up, we got uh, <clears throat> another one for you guys. This is a simpler build. So this is a curbside kit with our 1964 Mercury Comet Caliente AMT kit, uh, part of the Craftsman Plus series. Uh, a lot of good detail on, in this kit, but of course being a curbside, it goes together quickly and easily. Uh, all new colorful decals with this, comes with white wall tires, it's got chrome parts, vintage style packaging on it. You can see some more of the options here on the side, where it talks about, again, molded in white. And uh, those chrome bumpers, detailed chassis, like I talked about, bucket seats, chrome wheels, and very easy to put together, and you can see that from the parts tree on the back, how easy this curbside kit goes together. You can always take these and add details and stuff if you'd like to, but it's a nice, quick, easy, uh, fast build. Next up, we also have the MPC Class Action 1980 Chevy Monte Carlo. I know you guys are really excited about this kit coming out. These cars have been uh, gaining popularity quite a bit. Uh, we did just recently tool this in Johnny Lightning for the uh, 78, 79, and the 80 Monte Carlo, and it has been doing great. This kit has a lot of cool options. Not only does it come with the uh, Monte Carlo, but it includes a chopper bike and a trailer um, that come with the kit as well. You can actually see here what the chopper and the trailer looks like. So it's a super cool uh, kit to build up. And then as far as the car itself, it's a two-in-one, so you can build it stock or custom. Uh, there's removable T-top panels on it, an optional padded roof. Uh, detailed V8 engine. You can get a look at that decal sheet. There's some lowrider uh, style graphics on it if you want to kind of do it up in, in a lowrider style. Uh, optional stock wheels with thin white wall tires on here. And then uh, there's a look. Flip it over. There's a look at that parts tree on the back for all the pieces for this kit. So really excited to see how you guys build that one out. Another great kit with a lot of great options is this modified stocker hauler and truck now coming uh with a 53 ford pickup kit and then it comes with the uh with the trailer um goes great with our other modified stocker car kits so if you built up one of those and you want to have a uh, support truck that can pull it um of course the modified stockers look great sitting on that trailer uh what's cool about this uh being built on our 53 ford uh kit there are a lot of options for the truck. You can customize the truck in, in different ways. And this is a golf kit, so it comes with some golf decals and stuff as well. Um, you can see on the side how it looks uh, when it's built up. Of course, the uh, modified stocker kit is not included, but we've done all kinds of different modified stockers that can be built up for this. Trailer comes with uh, welding tanks on it, extra uh, um, racing slicks and wheels included that you can put up on the, on the trailer. It's a four wheel uh, tilt bed. And then the truck has lots of cool options. So you can see that custom grill, uh, two different engines that you can do. There's a stock uh, stock engine, flathead, or a fire dome V8 uh, engine, pinstriped wide wheels you can see here, or white wall tires if you want to go more uh, regular uh, or stock look for that truck. 
and then of course uh, all the different like grills and side pipes and bed cover rear fenders all this stuff that comes with this kit you can get a look here at all those parts on that parts tree so this should be a popular one uh, and a really fun one to build up can't wait to see photos of you guys building it up with your modified stockers so Lastly, we've got a Star Trek kit for you guys for this month. This is the AMT USS Enterprise NCC 1701C. Uh, 11400 scale in this kit. Some of the neat features about this one, uh, it's injected in translucent and clear plastic. So if you wanted to light the kit, uh, you could light it. Uh, it does have some other cool options for decals here. So you can build uh, water slide decals, you can build it as the USS Enterprise. USS Yamaguchi, um, or there's battle damage decals included as well. Builds up to 15 inches long, 47 parts in this kit, and has a dome base, so um, you can build it up, have it floating on the dome base, like we do with most of our Star Trek, Star Wars uh, spaceship kits. So that is everything that we've got for model kits for this month. Next, we're going to jump in and show you guys slot cars. So jumping right into slot cars, we're going to show you guys uh, new releases or a new series uh, for slot cars, um, starting with Extraction, and then we have new releases for Thunder Jets, and we have a new slot car track we're going to show. So jumping right into it, uh, for Extraction, this is our new series called Yesterday and Today. Uh, we have some pretty cool cars in this one, two color variations for each car. The first in the Yesterday and Today series, we're doing Camaros. So this is the 69 Chevy Camaro SS. Here you can see in the dark uh, in the dark maroon color. Again, it has chrome wheels with it, and uh, all that great painted detail. But then we have the today version, the 2010 uh, Chevy Camaro SS, color match to the 1969, same color wheels, and then you get that version of yesterday and today. And again, just great looking uh, artwork uh, for this packaging as well. So we did two variations for this. So for the Camaros on their second colors. We have the yellow, 1969 uh, in yellow there with the black striping along the side and chrome wheels on that. Again, lots of painted details. And then for the 2010 Chevy Camaro in matching yellow with those matching that matching black striping on it. Next up in the series, we've got Chargers. So we're doing the 1969 Dodge Charger RT, of course, in the uh, Plum Crazy Purple. There's the first version has a uh, black vinyl top in the purple with the uh, white letter tires on it for that 1969. And then you can see in the today, our 2007 Dodge Charger RT in purple. And for the second color variations for the chargers, we've got red. So first one here in that 1969 black vinyl top, again in that red color. And the 2007 matching in red, black detailing on that as well. And then lastly, for the Yesterday and Today cars, we have the Mustangs. So starting with the 67 Shelby GT350 in green, white racing stripes on that one for the Yesterday car. White letter tires on that as well. Matched up with the 2018 Ford Mustang GT again in the green with the white striping on the top. And those second color variations here in blue. That's Shelby GT350, blue again with the white stripes. And the 2018, blue with white stripes. So a lot of cool different variations with these. Super fun, uh, super fun program. Next, we also have a release for Thunder Jets. We've been doing, uh, we've been doing a lot with our Looney Tunes license. This is a four car Thunder Jet set for Space Jam. So we have four cars in this one. First one is being this uh, Corvette, 1964 Corvette Grand Sport. This one features Bugs Bunny and Elmer Fudd on the car. You see the big basketball on it. And the color tires that we've been doing with our, uh, with our Looney Tunes series. Second is the LeBron, uh, LeBron James and Marvin the Martian car. It's in like a bright uh, chartreuse color. Again, with the orange wheels, or orange uh, tires, gold wheels, and you got that Marvin the Martian on the side there. Third is the Wiley e. Coyote and Roadrunner in the Shelby uh, Daytona, a Shelby Cobra Daytona Coupe. 
it's yellow on that one, and of course the graphics with Wiley e. Coyote and the Roadrunner on there. And third, the 1966 Ford GT40, Porky Pig, and Daffy Duck. And again, you got the uh, the number on the side in the uh, with that Looney Tunes look to it, and all those fun uh, fun graphics on the side of it. So jumping into the set, we have uh, an all new set for you guys. This is our Motorsport 500 racing layout. So this is a vintage style uh, set. Some of the cool stuff that comes with this, it has two cars, uh, two extraction cars, 1969 Dodge Charger RT, white with red stripings, and the 69 Chevy Camaro SS, white with blue striping on it. Uh, does have two variable speed controllers and does include our new adjustable voltage power pack. So you can turn the speed up and down on the track as you're running through. This is a 14 and a half foot set. As you can see the layout here and that throwback, uh, throwback style packaging. And you can see on the back also, here's some of the alternate track layouts that you can build out with this one. And it should be a really fun one for uh, all you vintage uh, HO slot car guys. So that's everything we've got in the realm of slot cars. Next, we're going to finish up showing you the 118. So jumping into the 118 scale, we have four cars to show you guys. We're going to start with the latest in our James Bond series, the 1957 Chevy Bel Air convertible from the first James Bond film, Dr. No. Uh, those of you who remember the film, James Bond uh, drove this car in the film, or one of the bad guys drove the car, and then James Bond took it over. Um, this is actually celebrating 60 years of Bond. That first Dr. No film came out in 1962, and actually October 5th of this month is James Bond Day. So um, this has great features on it. Uh, really famous for that red interior, that uh, um, red interior with the silver centers on the seats and all that extra detailing on it. Great looking car. Um, it's quintessential kind of Bond car. And uh, as with all of our other ones, it's got a really detailed chassis on it. Got opening hood, steerable front wheels, opening doors, and uh, information on the back about the Dr. No film and the appearance of the of the car in the film. So another super fun, super fun Bond release in 118. Also, one you guys are probably going to be excited about, the return of the Legends of the Quarter Mile cars. So this is the uh, Harry Schmidt's Blue Max 1973 Ford Mustang Funny Car. So, uh, like our other Legends cars, this has a die-cast tube chassis, a detailed plastic body, plumbed and wired engine. Of course, the body lifts up so you can see that, uh, that detailed chassis for that vintage funny car here. Ton of great detailing on it, uh, all that Blue Max paint and all of that intricate detailing on the side for the, uh, for the paint job. And then you can see on the back, always some information there uh, about the Harry Schmidt Blue Max Mustang. And some photos of the uh, of the real car here. Next up, what we've got for you guys, a 1975 Dodge Warlock II D100 Utila line. So uh, these Warlocks have been doing really well. This actually features a newly tooled hood, single headlight front grille, so we could do the '79 Warlock II and the way that it uh, left the factory in '79. Great red color on this, of course, with all the intricate striping down the side of it that looks awesome uh, black interior this has opening doors opening hood the tailgate drops on it detailed engine steerable front wheels precise accuracy and you can get a look at the uh, chassis underneath that one as well and then i'll look at just some information on the back talking about the uh the dodge warlock 2 and some of the new features with this uh with this 118 scale and then lastly for 118 for you guys, the 1932 Cadillac V16 Sport Phaeton. So these have been popular as we've been uh, uh, releasing these different versions of this Cadillac V16. This one in green has a uh, tan top on it. A lot of detail on these 30s era, uh, 30s era cars. So there's, um, of course, all the detailed uh, engine opening doors and hood on this with that detailed uh, V16. Steerable front wheels, precise accuracy. And you can get a look at the chassis on the bottom of this one as well. So that is everything that we have for you guys this month in 118, 164, slot cars and model kits. Always a ton of stuff coming through. Again, thank you guys for watching these videos. As I say every month, 
Follow us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. Check out round2corp.com. We got a new section. We announced a lot of stuff we're working on, new tooling for next year that's coming out. Thank you again. See you guys in November.